welcome back to my channel. My name is Mary Catherine. If you're new here, I am a, currently a senior in college and this is going to be a collective birthday, Christmas, post-Christmas shopping haul. Um, so my birthday is Christmas Eve, December 24th. So it's been like five days. So um, I guess I'll start with my birthday haul. Um, so the big thing I got this year was an exercise bike, which I will insert now. And um, I'm really excited about it. I'm gonna try to use it like most every day um, and supplement it with exercise classes. So I'm pretty pumped about that. Um, so that was kind of my big gift. And then I had a couple other gifts. Um, first of all, this Daisy Love perfume. I'm very excited. I really like floral perfumes and floral scents. So I'm, if I can get it out. So I'm pretty pumped for this new one to add to my fragrance collection. Um, I got this really pretty necklace off of, I think my grandma got it on Etsy. Um, and it just says MC with a heart, Mary Catherine, cute, you know. I like it, it's um, short, so I think it'll be a nice layering necklace. Um, then I got this really pretty J. Crew dress. This was something I asked for. Um, I send like a birthday and Christmas list of just ideas of things I like. And this was on it. I'm very excited. It'll look great for student teaching and teaching. Um, it's just gonna be a nice little transitional dress for winter and spring. I also got this super cute cardigan from Altered State, I think. It's just like a long camel color cardigan. I don't have a lot of really good cardigans like that. So I'm pretty pumped for that. And then the last thing I got for my birthday was this awesome tweed and pattern sweater. I think it's from Belk or Macy's, but pretty pumped. I like the colors. I wear a lot of navy. So I think it'll look really nice with all my stuff. So now for the Christmas portion of the haul. I got a lot of candy, obviously, in my stocking. Um, some gum, my favorite kind of gum. Um, I got a bunch of different smart sweets to try. Um, some chapstick from Burt's Bees. And then we always get gift cards in our stocking. So I got a Ulta gift card, a Starbucks gift card, Chick-fil-A, Dunkin'. Pretty pumped about that. Um, I got these awesome smart plugs, which I'm really excited about. Um, I think these they got these on Black Friday when they were really on sale. I sent them to them, um, to my, to Santa. I sent these to Santa on Black Friday because I knew they were on sale. Um, and it's just four plugs for, once I'm back in my, my house, this is my home, um, at my mom's right now for Christmas and the holidays, but once I'm home, I'm gonna set these up to do my lamp and my twinkle lights and all sorts of things. And it'll sync up to my Alexa. So I'm pretty pumped for this. Um, and then the last two things in my stocking were this naked palette that my mom, it's like a long story, but she got it for, I don't wanna say for free, that sounds bad, but basically. Um, and she thought she wanted to keep it. And I told her if she didn't, I wanted it. And she put it in my stocking. The Naked Urban Decay Naked Honey Palette. And it's just, it's really pretty. Golds and yellows. So excited about this palette. And then the last thing in my stocking, my mom every year gets us an ornament um, for whatever we're into that year. Um, and I guess this year she let Santa be the one to pick out our ornaments. But this was the ornament I got. It is a Ruth Bader Ginsburg ornament and it says women belong in all places where decisions are being made. So I'm pretty pumped for that. Um, and then I guess I'll move on to my Christmas presents. I got um, also some cash from like my dad and my grandpa and Santa left us a little cash in our stocking as well, um, which is what I used for my shopping portion but um, I got this instant uh, mini camera photo printer um, by Kodak. It's the mini one. 
I put this on my list. Just you put cartridge, printer cartridge in here, hook it. Well, it needs to be charged, but once it's charged, you um, turn it on and you sync it Bluetooth to your phone and then you can print pictures. The pictures are like credit card size, so they're small, but I'm pretty excited because I'm gonna use it for my classroom once I'm teaching and um, print pictures for like first day of school for my door. I can print pictures for like the hallway where their names are. I can print pictures if we wanted to do a craft and like put their pictures on it. Just really excited. I know as a teacher, I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this. So I'm pretty pumped for this. Um, next, I got a couple pairs of earrings that I threw on my list. They're Kate Spade earrings. I got these really cute, they're pretzel knot, well, they're called the pretzel knot. They're shaped like a little heart. They're gold. There you go. Uh, they're focusing. But they're just these cute little knot earrings. Nice for a second hole earring. I like them a lot. They're gold. I wear a lot of silver and gold. I like to mix jewelry. And then I got these really pretty hoops from Kate Spade as well. I think they'll be really cute um, with black or like once I'm able to go out again when COVID's kind of subsided and allowed some sense of normal life. I think they'll be cute to go out with like a all black outfit. Um, and then next is a black shirt from, I think from J. Crew. Again, I'm a pretty big J. Crew fan. Um, I don't know if this is regular J. Crew or Factor. I know that dress was from the regular J. Crew store. Um, I think this is as well. And it's just like a black, like a mock neck, so not full turtleneck with like a cute little, it's got like a ruffly hem on the bottom and it's ribbed and it's just a black sweater. I'm pretty excited. I don't have a lot of black tops and I wanted a black top for student teaching and like classroom. But then I mean, if I want to wear this with like jeans to go run errands or with my friends, also cute, but I just don't have a lot of black tops, so I wanted one. And then another thing from J. Crew, which I've talked about these on my channel before in like my um, outfits I wear video. These are my favorite pants ever. They are from J. Crew Merchantile. Um, I think they're a Merchantile or Factory exclusive, but they're the Jamie pant. I have them in navy and like a pattern, and I don't have a pair of black pants currently. So, I got the Jamie pants in black. I'm very excited. Um, my other two pairs are sixes and they fit. They fit fine. They're just like a little bit tight on the top. So, I got an eight this time in the black and I'm really excited. And yeah, just a basic black dress pant. Um, and then the last three things I got for Christmas are all Lululemon. I'm very excited. Um, on Black Friday, I didn't ask for actually any Lululemon this year. But um, on Black Friday, I was home for Thanksgiving and I was looking and I was like, man, I really don't need to spend money on this. My mom was like, well, I'm looking at getting you maybe a few more things for Christmas, just send them to me. And I think she got all three of these on Black Friday. So props to her. So first is, I can't remember even what these shorts are called. They're the, I don't know, it doesn't say, but they're just like a biker shorts in black they have a pocket on the side the little lemon logo um a zipper on or like a pocket on the back of the pant too for like headphones and stuff but i like them i'm pretty excited i know i'll get good use out of them i love biker shorts and i have a um a really cheap pair from target that are actually currently falling apart because i wear them so much so i'm really excited to have a nice quality pair and I like that the hem, so like the bottom is a raw hemline. I think it looks really nice. Excited for these. So these are the um, uptight, I think is what they're called. I know this should have a name in it. I'm pretty sure it's the uptight. Pants from Lululemon in a white color. I wore them yesterday to go running or to go walking. Um, and they're just double lined, so you can't really see through them, but they're white. And the side has a little pocket on both sides and then this little detail and then like a more i don't want to say sheer but like more of a um i think it's single lined right here so it gives it the nice little flare i'm really excited about these 
And then the last pair of pants I got are the Here to There HR pants in a 7th, 8th link. And these are kind of like a trouser, trouser looking pants. And they just look like this. They have a um, hemline on the front. I'll probably wear them just like casual days. Um, yeah, I don't know. They're really cute. All of these are in a size eight. That is kind of my generic, like general size in Lululemon. All right, so now for the haul portion of this video. So for my birthday and Christmas, I got a pretty good amount of money this year, um, just from like family and a couple for like in my stocking, things like that. So the big thing I knew I wanted to get was a, um, a new puffy jacket. I have one from... Patagonia that I've had since high school and I love it. I wear it literally all the time. It's the only really puffy jacket I have um, and it's navy and I love it. But navy is a neutral for sure, but it's not a universal color. Like you can't really wear navy with black, whatever. So I just wanted another one to have. Um, I thought about maybe black or gray, but I knew I wanted just a different color that would go with things that navy wanted. And I found this at Eddie Bauer. They were having a pretty big sale. I think everything was 60% off or 70% off. I think it was 70 actually. So this was originally a $130 jacket and I got it for like 60. So it's a pretty good deal. And it's this really pretty pink color. Um, I like it. It has a nice popped collar, but you can also like very easily tuck the collar in and it gives it more of like a bomber jacket look. And it's just this really cute color. I don't know exactly what the jacket is called. Um, there's like a style name. But it's a down jacket from Eddie Bauer. Really like it. I wore it yesterday. It's pretty comfy. So I'm going to get a lot of use out of it. So I also, after Christmas, went to Target. And I got this sweater from Target. It's by the New Day brand. It was on clearance for $13. Uh, I'm going to stand up so you can see it. It's kind of short, cropped on the sweater. Really like it. And I also, um, I got these resistant bands. I want to try to do more at-home workouts and things like that during the week. So I thought resistant bands would be a good idea. And they were on sale for $8. So I figured I might as well get them. So I've gotten a couple things on Amazon. Nothing too crazy. I got um, a pair of their eyeglass chains, but they also have a hook so you can wear them with masks. And I thought it'd be nice to have for school if I need to pull my mask down really quick to like show my mouth or something, or if I'm eating, I don't wanna like touch the ground. So if I can just have it hang. Um, and then, so I'll insert a picture of the mask chain here. And then I also got a pack of pearl headbands. I got inspired from Grace. Um, her channel is Lipsticks by Lattes, Lipstick and Lattes. I will insert it here. Um, she had a Corona, like a COVID wedding. Um, so it's really small, intimate wedding a couple weeks ago. And she wore these really cool headbands that she got on Amazon. And I thought they matched kind of my style. So I got them and they were like $7. I'll insert a picture here. And then the last couple things I got on Amazon, or the last thing I got on Amazon, I should say, it was more of a splurge, but I'm really excited. It is these leggings. They are, I can't even remember the brand. I'll make sure to link them down below. But they are faux leather leggings. They're very similar to the Spank faux leather leggings. They're supposed to be like a dupe for them. Um, and so far, I'm really liking them. So... They were definitely worth it. They were only $40 in comparison to $75 for the Spanx version. So I would say definitely worth the investment. And then the last thing I ordered online, I will insert a picture of here. So that item is called a birdie alarm. It's like a self-defense alarm. It pulls off and beeps, flashes a light, and then it has like a little, like a... I don't say knife, it's not a knife, it's not like a weapon, but like a thing you can like, if someone's coming at you, you can like use to poke. I figure I'm a girl, I live in a city urban area. I'm downtown a lot, so I figured it was just like a nice thing to have. I know a couple people who have them, so 
decided to get it. It was on sale for $20, I believe. So everything else in my haul is with me. So um, the same day I went to Eddie Bauer, also went to Loft. Loft is a great place in general, but it's also really awesome if you kind of work in a semi-professional environment, um, like student teaching or teaching. And so I got a couple different things. All of their clearance was 60% off, 60% off. And then they, the full, um, full price tops were also 60% off, but everything I got was on clearance. So I first got this sweater, which was originally $50 and I got it for like 20. It's this really cute, uh, there's kind of the pattern. And then it has pearls on it and the sleeves are like, um, similar to the shirt I'm wearing, they're kind of like bell sleeve. So I'm really excited. I know I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it. Can wear it with, I have some pink pants, um, green pants, black, I mean, you can just wear it and wear it with jeans and more casual. I just know I'll get a lot of use out of it. Um, then I got this top, which is also more for like a school type situation, more professional wear. It was originally $40, with 60% off. It's like a cute little, white top. I don't have a lot of white basic tops. So I thought this was a good investment. And I also got this shirt, which was originally, I think $20. Yeah, it was originally $25 um, on clearance. And then it was set 60% off. So I got it for like less than $10. And it's just like a big Oxford shirt. I got it in a big size. So it'd be oversized. Has cute little detailing on the back. That's what it looks like. Um, and then I got a couple more tops as well. So let me show you, I got five pieces and they were all less than $70, which is really, really good deal. Uh, so this one I can also wear to school, but I also thought not everyone's style, but I thought it would look cute going out with like black jeans or something. So it's this velvet top with a kind of mock neck um, and like a nice pattern or texture to it. And it was originally $45 and it was 20% off. Again, I can wear it to school with like regular black pants, dress pants, or I can wear it with like jeans or even these leggings to go out once COVID kind of dies down and I'm able to go out again. So that's what this top is for. And then the last thing I got is also kind of a going out top. And um, actually I mean, it is like, I can't wear it to school or anything. And it was 60% off of $37. And it's this really cute copper color tank top. Velvet, cute. Thought it would look nice with these leggings as well. And just like a nice top to have and wear when I go out. So that was all I got at Loft. Again, I got five tops for less than $30. Or not less than, 30. I got five tops for like $70. So very good deal my local mall and then while I was there I went to Aerie so these are the last purchases I made um so I'll start with J. Crew. everything was pretty on sale so all the jewelry was 50% off I believe and it was all clearance jewelry as well so I got these earrings for six dollars I thought they were cute It'd be nice just good to have I got this necklace, which was on, on clearance for $20, and I got it for $10. And it's just this really pretty chain gold necklace. Um, good for layering. I got this one, which is also going to be good for layering. And it was on sale for $15. And then it was 50% off of that. Maybe. Maybe this is why it was on sale, because this little piece doesn't want to move. There we go. So I thought it'd be a cute little necklace for layering. And then I got this bracelet, which was on was on clearance for $12. So it was like, by the time it rang up, it was like $6. Um, and it's this really cute puka shell gold. Thought it'd be cute to add to my stack on certain days. And then I got two tops. The first one, so these were both 70% off. Um, so this one was originally on clearance for $44. And then it was on sale so I think I got it for like $15 and it's just this big oversized Oxford type shirt with a cheetah pattern I thought it'd be nice to wear with dress pants to school and then this top is also for school and like dress professional wear 
Um, but I thought it'd look really cute because I can wear it with navy or black pants. Or even white pants, really. Or cream. Um, and it was originally $48 and it was on clearance. So I paid like $18 for it. And it just looks like this. I thought it was really cute. It buttons all the way down and then it has like the Peter Pan tie on it. And I thought it was just cute and different. Something fun. A good, um, one thing I really like is having staples like in my pants and then wearing more patterned fun tops that I can throw with different pants. So both of these were great tops for that. And that was all I got at J. Crew Factory. And then the last store I went to in my little collective Christmas birthday shopping haul was Airy. I got a 10 underwear for $35. Great deal. Better than Victoria's Secret deal. And they're basically the same thing. So would recommend that. I'm not going to sit here and go through all of them. But I got like seamless ones, thongs, you know, the whole shebang in here. And then I got one top from American Eagle, but I checked out at Airy. So this was a 50% off top. So I got it for $15. I just thought it was cute little peplum cream color. Thought it would be cute again when I can go out again. Stretchy. I got it in a large. And it's just like a cream champagne color velvet. And then it has like a double layer peplum. So, thought it was cute. So, yeah. That is my what I got for my birthday, Christmas, and then a post-Christmas shopping haul. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to subscribe, like this video, leave a comment. And I will see y'all in my next video, which will be on New Year's. And um, thanks for watching.